So today we're gonna to spend some time showing you some activities that you can use to help your child with their fine motor skills. Fine motor skills help your children learn how to grasp a crayon, a pencil, or even scissors. And Miss Ann's gonna walk you through some things you may have in your home that can help them master that task. Okay, seeing as you'll be maybe stuck at home and you won't be able to get out to buy some of these things, we just thought there might be a few of these things you would have in the house. So we've got some kitchen tongs, different sizes. You might have different ones. And then we found some cotton balls, some beads. You could use candies or anything else small that you can find in the house. And just to practice uh, strengthening your hand and grasp, you use the tongs, take the tongs, and just pick up and put in the bowl. You can dye these different colors and you could sort them into colors, putting them into different pots. Or then you can put the beads like that into different pots. You can use different tongs, different strength and see how hard it is. You can use language skills to talk about the difference in the, how do they feel, how do they grasp. So there's some ideas for that. You can use clothespins, oops, if you've got these at home, and just take a paper plate, clothespin, literally just put them around. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can count, use your fine motor skills, you can take turns, you can decorate the plate, make a funny face. Um, this is a just a very ad hoc threading, but if you don't have anything to, to do with threading, and this would really be for, for um, small children, you could just use a spoon, cut up a paper towel, a roll, and just, you could decorate these, and then just thread them through. And you're using two hands, you have to use two hands, and that's really important that they're using hand transference. You can make a little decorative necklace, if you want to do that. And then of course we have Play-Doh, and I hope everybody has some Play-Doh at home. And if you don't have Play-Doh at home, you can always make it. And I don't have the recipe here right with me, but just Google it, go online, there's loads of sites that show you how to make homemade Play-Doh out of everything that you've got at home. And Play-Doh, just do whatever, it's the, one of the best things for um, strengthening hands with. So there's a few ideas for strengthening hand motor skills.